Welcome to the introductory presentation for Get to Solutioning, Strategy and Best Practices When Mapping Designs from Edge to Cloud. My name is Paul DiCarlo, Principal Cloud Advocate at Microsoft and lead for IoT advocacy within our Developer Relations Group. In this session, we are going to cover Strategy for Secure IoT Device Connectivity and Real-World Edge Environments, how a common IoT solution architecture can be adapted to a variety of business verticals, and an introduction to techniques for implementing artificial intelligence at the edge to support an intelligent video analytics IoT solution. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll begin by addressing the elephant in the room when it comes to Internet of Things solutions, the concept of security. How do you enforce security in solutions that typically require the use of sensors in the real world, potentially in publicly accessible areas? As you might expect, it all begins at the device, but must also be addressed in the communication layer and within the cloud environment itself. We'll look at an overview on how Microsoft provides security for IoT solutions in each of these areas. Security concerns as it relates to IoT is a very real thing. Consider the October 2016 Mirai botnet attack in which roughly 100,000 IoT devices were taken over by hackers and turned into a botnet. That botnet was then used to launch a distributed denial of service attack the immediate impact of which was to knock the east coast of the United States off of the internet for an entire day. It means no Netflix, no chatting, no online shopping. Think that's crazy. Imagine hackers getting access to your corporate data by way of a fish tank. Sounds pretty unbelievable, right? Well, this happened recently to a casino in Las Vegas. The attackers used a vulnerability in an aquarium thermometer to gain a foothold into the casino's network. And once they were in, they found their way to the casino's high roller database, which they pulled out and used to their advantage. Industrial systems are also susceptible to these types of intrusions. In the Triton malware attack, hackers apparently intended to manipulate the layers of built-in emergency shutdown protocols to keep plant systems running while they bore deeper and deeper into the network to gain more control. If malware can defeat a plant safety shutdown features, it can then work to sabotage the system in countless ways. Thankfully, in this attack, the malware accidentally triggered an emergency system that allowed it to be noticed and mitigated. As you've seen, security in IoT solutions is paramount. IoT implies the presence of devices, often with access to mission-critical controls, sensor data, and potentially access to real-time video and computer vision-based AI at the edge scenarios. Securing IoT solutions requires mitigation across all relevant data pathways, beginning with the device itself, its communication layer to both internal and external services, which typically involve a connection to a cloud-hosted environment, and of course, within the cloud environment itself. Microsoft IoT services take a security into account in all layers of the IoT solution, beginning with the device, its pathway to the cloud, and within the Azure cloud. Whether you are employing an IoT edge-based solution or a microcontroller-based approach with Azure Sphere hardware, the Azure IoT security architecture allows you to monitor beginning at the device level and provide dashboards for monitoring the security state across all device workloads from within the Azure Security Center. This integration is built directly into the Azure IoT Device Connectivity SDKs, the IoT Edge Runtime, and into the silicon itself in the case of Azure Sphere. Building your solutions with Microsoft IoT SDKs, services, and hardware means that security integration is available to your solution right from the start. And within the Azure Cloud itself, you can rely on security and disaster recovery options available in each of the 60 plus global data centers. This availability assures that no matter where your devices are in the world, you can expect low latency connectivity and throughput with the ability to enable multi-region failover protection to ensure your IoT solutions are always up and running. Your security teams can also benefit from this protection by employing the security that Azure employs for itself across all data centers. And of course, if your solution requires industry compliance standards, we're ready to welcome you with regularly updated selections that currently consist of 93 available compliance offerings. In the follow-up presentation, we will go into details on approaches that allow you to adapt Azure IoT solutions to accommodate various network environments in a secure manner. For example, if you have legacy devices that are not capable of running the secure device SDKs or the Azure IoT Edge runtime, we can still ensure security across the communication layer by use of something called the Azure IoT Edge Gateway. 
This offering allows for a variety of configurations that can aid in adapting to the types of environments that may exist within your network. For example, manufacturing facilities, offshore or intermittent remote environments, and even air-gapped internal networks with no outbound internet access. We will examine these configuration strategies and the types of environments they are best suited for in depth. The goal is to leave you confident that Azure IoT services can be leveraged in even the most challenging environments, provided that you have knowledge of the patterns that can enable secure connectivity for your workloads. Now that we've explained how IoT solutions built on Microsoft SDKs and cloud services can ensure security within even the most challenging network environments, we can begin the conversation on how Azure IoT solutions might be relevant to your line of business and what those solutions would look like from an architectural perspective. Recent innovations have allowed for the proliferation of IoT solutions across numerous industries, and it is no surprise that much of this innovation has been iterative, beginning with the availability of nearly limitless compute and storage via the cloud revolution. This has allowed for vast expansion in the ability to operate and process data transmitted by devices at scale. We are now beginning to see the full circle effects of this as computing power is increasing to support and unlock new possibilities for small form factor edge devices, to the point that it is now possible to run accelerated AI workloads on devices not much larger than a cell phone. And as innovations in cloud increase, we again see additional benefits, for example, with the adoption of digital twins, it is now possible to replicate physical environments into virtual space, allowing for a one-to-one -one mapping of real-world environments to the cloud. We refer to this paradigm as digital transformation and see the potential of Internet of Things and AI at the Edge solutions as the harbinger of mainstream AI. This is no longer an inaccessible field riddled with complexity and cost. It is now more available than ever before with a learning curve that invites all who possess the interest to get started with it. We hope to inspire your line of business to seek the benefits of these solutions where they can make the most impact to your processes and customer experience. The cross-industry relevance of IoT solutions pervades every industry that can benefit from increased value, reduced waste, or enhanced procedures via the introduction of real-time insights and automated systems that react to those insights. For example, in recent times, many businesses are facing the effects of return to work in the face of the global COVID-19 outbreak, and they have a need to ensure the safety of employees and customers. Automated systems for screening and reporting of visitor well-being are already demonstrating the ability to mitigate the effects of contagious infections using IoT-based solutions. And within the medical community, the ability to monitor patients in real time is critical during times of surge capacity and in helping to identify and properly assess patients under quarantine. This, of course, extends to additional scenarios like smart blood sugar monitors and telemedicine in general. The futuristic vision of self-driving vehicles is, at its heart, an IoT solution, one that very clearly demonstrates just how fast insights can be enacted upon, to the point that vehicles can recognize potentially catastrophic events in real time. And this effect can be extended to smart factories where they can be employed to reduce downtime by automating quality control systems, allowing for increased production and reduction in defects. Similarly, energy companies can leverage IoT data to adapt to demand spikes by recognizing them as they happened and even providing value to customers by using this data to automatically dial down HVAC energy usage during these events. And in retail areas, it is possible to gauge customer behavior with a fidelity that mirrors that of online analytics, ultimately allowing for enhanced customer experiences by reducing shelf vacancy, optimizing reorder frequency, and the potential to offer product suggestions to customers in the moment. As you've seen, IoT solutions can address a variety of different use cases, but it's interesting to note that in all of these examples, the pathway from device to the cloud to line of business applications is very similar. There are, of course, variations of the specific technologies involved when encountering these solutions in the real world. But the workflow of using things or devices to capture and produce insights which lead to action is common to all IoT solutions. Once you understand this fundamental concept, you can apply it to a host of business scenarios to create relevant IoT solutions that make and take use of real-time insights. And extending this concept further, we can produce a common architecture for IoT solutions built on Microsoft Azure by employing service offerings designed specifically to address this common workflow. 
Our things are IoT devices which communicate using the secure Azure IoT device SDKs, either directly to an IoT hub or by means of an intermediary IoT Edge gateway. Once data arrives to the Azure Cloud, we can begin to process and operate on insights contained using services like Stream Analytics, where we can filter data while it's in flight. This allows us to extract time-critical insights into warm path storage systems for immediate use or offloading into cold storage systems for archival purposes. Once our data is in the cloud, scalable integration of that data into line of business applications enables the ability to take action on the data produced by our devices. So what do these services look like in practice? We've covered the theoretical concepts, and now we want to show you how you can develop state-of-the-art AI at the edge solutions using the latest concepts in computer vision. To demonstrate this, we will explore a real-world project developed using NVIDIA embedded hardware and Azure IoT services to produce a generic solution that consumes multiple video sources to produce insights at the edge and in the cloud using a custom object detection model. Specifically, we will develop the solution to target an NVIDIA Jetson device that contains an onboard GPU for accelerated AI inferencing. We will also provide full instructions that will enable you to replicate the solution for yourself. And we'll be sure to point out areas of customization so that you can allow it to detect really any object that you train it to and demonstrate how you can then integrate those results into a variety of Azure services. These instructions will cover everything from how to configure IoT Edge to run on the ARM-based Jetson platform, how to automate capture of training samples, and how to use them to train a custom object detection model within the Custom Vision AI service from Microsoft Cognitive Services. From there, we will explore how to leverage Azure Streaming Analytics at the Edge to filter out object detection results and reduce the data that we will ultimately send to the cloud. With our summarized data flowing into an Azure IoT Hub, we can then visualize the telemetry in services like Time Series Insights or Power BI to view results in near real time. Now, because the solution is built on Microsoft Azure, it is naturally aligned to the Azure IoT reference architecture. Our IoT device will be instrumented with the Azure IoT Edge runtime, which will allow for direct communication to an Azure IoT Hub. And on the device, we'll employ a custom object detection model from Cognitive Services, which supplies object detection results to a streaming analytics service that also runs on the device as an IoT Edge module. Filtered results from the stream analytics module will flow into our IoT Hub, where we'll then be able to process that telemetry and visualization services. These will include Time Series Insights and Microsoft Power BI. Both of these services will take advantage of the warm path to allow for near real-time display of telemetry in the cloud. And in addition, we'll support the concept of MLOps using a camera tagging module on the device that can capture frames from our video sources and mirror them into a cold storage service. These can later be used to enhance our object detection model as we use it to train additional samples. We can then export this updated model from the Cognitive Services Custom Vision Service to update the running object detection model on the device. After our demonstration, you will be ready to apply the Azure IoT Reference Architecture to create custom intelligent video analytics solutions that can address a variety of use cases. For example, by modifying the type of object being detected and ensuring that we are capturing the data relevant to the business, you can put Azure IoT solutions to work in almost any industry. Microsoft's own Project 15 was born from this approach, producing a solution that assists in conservation and protection of the world's elephant population. All of this was done by adapting the object detection model to detect, you guessed it, elephants, and updating the business integration component to visualize where they have been seen on an interactive map. You can learn more about Project 15 by visiting aka.ms slash project 15. For links to the relevant documentation, resources, and demos used in this presentation and the follow-up presentation, check out aka.ms slash IoT50 slash resources. If you're interested in using this presentation and the video recordings for an event of your own, the materials can be found on GitHub at aka.ms slash IoT50. If you enjoyed the session and are interested in other topics covered in the IoT learning path, you can learn and find out all about them by heading to aka.ms slash IoTLP. 
We covered quite a few topics in this session and would like to share that we have curated a collection of modules in the Microsoft Learn platform which pertain to the topics in this session. This will allow you to interactively learn how to securely connect IoT devices to the cloud via the use of an IoT Edge gateway, build intelligent Edge applications on the Edge using Azure IoT Edge, how to create solutions using the Software as a Service Azure IoT Central offering, and cover details on how to implement streaming analytics in both the cloud and on the Edge. In this presentation and the associated Learn modules can help guide you on a path to official certification. If you are interested in obtaining accreditation that can help you stand out as a certified Microsoft Azure IoT developer, we recommend checking out the AZ220 certification. You can find details on the topics covered and schedule an exam today at aka.ms slash IoT50 slash certification. For more free interactive learning content, check out Microsoft Learn at microsoft.com slash learn to begin your own custom learning path with resources on the latest topics and trends in technology. Thank you again for attending this session. Cheers.